country. I cannot believe it. They actually opened up the uh, the highway. There was policemen that used to be at every entrance of every uh, town, and they're gone. They're not there anymore, so it's open for people to go in and out. So we came up just for a day. Uh, we had a couple of things we had to bring, so we had to bring those up because I couldn't even get my... There's my chichi. I couldn't even get my garage door open because they were blocking everything in the garage. So we figured why not come up here for one day, bring these lights up and go walking on the trail for a bit just to enjoy some beautiful fresh air. We did bring our masks. We're on the trail. Usually it's quite busy on this trail with people biking. But it doesn't look like anybody's up here. But we did bring our mask just in case someone is coming towards us. We'll just cover our faces. You know, not just for our protection, but their protection too. But it's so beautiful and it's nice and warm today. And I promised I was going to do another one of the Nomad nutrition meals for you guys. We brought... Uh, Kathmandu to try and we brought another one a curry dish so we're gonna try those uh, backpacker meals later on and tell you what they're like but if it's anything like the ones that we were eating already they're delicious and I'm gonna put the link for you guys where you could actually go and buy these backpacker meals which is great just to have as emergency at home or if you're a hiker or a backpacker and we're hoping to see if we could find any morels so far there's my daughter Erica hi Erica and there's uh yeah we're looking for morels but we haven't spotted anything yet not up here anyhow where we normally find morels unfortunately we're not allowed to go in there uh, because of the COVID I don't know why I'm even mentioning that because they're probably going to demonetize me if I do but because of what's going on, we're not even allowed on that trail. But uh, yeah, we came this way. Hopefully, we're going to be able to do a small hike here. So yeah, just wanted to give you a little update. And I, like I promised, I was going to try some of the other backpacker meals for you. And look how beautiful it is here. The trees are just starting. Not sure if you can see that, but they're just starting to bud and uh, it's so quiet once in a while you hear a car off the highway but it is so beautiful up here I'm so happy we came even if it's just one day apparently it's gonna snow up here tomorrow it was snowing in Montreal you see and uh, when we left it wasn't but when I was talking to my sister coming up uh, she said that it was snowing it had started to snow so yeah, the weather's still iffy. Do you see any morels, Erica? No. We're trying to see if we can find some beautiful morels. Last year we found some, but when we found them, there weren't there weren't too many of them. Who put all that mulch there? Huh. Well, because they cut these, remember? Oh yeah, they did cut some, eh? Yeah, I'm hoping to. Oh, that's a helicopter. So yeah, I hope you guys are all staying safe and I'm not sure what it's like around your area. We have a high count of people that have the virus in uh, Montreal. People are afraid, but they're not that afraid. So people are still moving around, but you know, the stores are closed, shopping centers are closed. They're just starting this. Actually, they said that this week they were going to start reopening. First they said the 11th, now they postponed it to the 19th. I don't know what one week is going to do for you. It makes no sense. When I hear this stuff, it drives me crazy. But, you know, a lot of people are getting scared. They don't even want to go to stores. A lot of people were ordering their food in. It's so nice up here. Look at this. I could have worn my... I put my hiking boots, but I could have worn my running shoes. I got a new pair of trail runners and I could have brought those up to try. 
We came up this morning and if I tell you how many deer were out there in the field, oh my God, it was like party time. These animals are out because the people aren't. It was nuts. Yeah, I think we're a little early for the morales up here. But they're always a little later, I think. All oh, right, between his. Yeah, that's not a good way. JJ, well, what is she going. doing to you? You don't have your nuggies anymore. And hopefully we're going to be able to still come up here. What you doing, Jay? What you doing, Chi Chi? And if we could come up this summer, of course, I'll get to show you some other stuff that we enjoy doing like the blueberries. These usually are full, uh, all these shrubs on here are usually all blueberries. Beautiful, beautiful place. For all of my new subscribers, where we are now, it's called Le Petit Train de Nord. It used to be an old railroad track and they made it a place where you could come skiing, hiking, biking, rollerblading, and it's one of the longest linear parks that you can go on. Kilometers. Yeah, it's about 200 kilometers. If you bike it, it's about 10 hours. Well, if you do it in a day. Yeah, in one day. Otherwise, you could do it yeah, over a couple days. of days and enjoy the little towns. But if you want to take the bike and do it in one day, it will take you about 10 hours to do the whole, the whole trail. And we have it basically in our backyard. So when we come up north, we're always on this trail. Not only do we get our workout. Chi Chi, you're getting tangled. So not only do we get our workout, we get some fresh air. And we get to smell. I wish you could smell what I smell right now. It's so fresh. You know what? We're not even really stopping for morales. Because if you want to stop for morales, you got to stop and look. Because half the time, they're the same color. Like, you see those pine cones? Sometimes you think it's a pine cone, but it's a morale. And they're one of the most sought-out mushrooms. Very expensive if you want to buy them, too. That's the Red River down there. They call it the Red River because you should see it's got red clay and when the sun beams on it, it's like bloody water. Beautiful. Beautiful country up here, that's for sure. The river is all along that way. It goes all the way down. JJ! It's beautiful now, but wait till you see this. If you're new to my channel, I'll be making more videos for sure. Because we come to pick morels and pochinis and bolites. So I'll be making lots of videos for you guys up here. And if we go backpacking or hiking, I'll do some of those for you, show you how we cook our meals. My camera's actually dying so I'm gonna say I love you guys and I'll continue a video when I get back and charge the camera but for now I'm gonna say I love you and I'll see you a little later when we make that meal for you. I see someone took the chaga. Okay guys I'll see you soon. Back at the house and I want to show you, my daughter just made a quick uh, rocket stove. And if you guys want to know how to make one of these, we'll show you next time. And basically, you could cook a whole meal with just twigs, guys. That's all you need is twigs. And as long as you feed, uh, feed the wood from the bottom, uh, you've got yourself a nice little stove that you could cook any meal you want. Now, you can make this any size you want. You can make a little one. You can make a big one. Uh, we just put a big stone at the bottom and then just built it up with 
uh, whatever bricks we had lying around here. So very easy, and that's how you fuel it. So you could actually make a very large meal just on twigs that you pick up around the yard. We are gonna try out the Nomad Nutrition Indian Red Lentil Stew and the Kathmandu Curry. Don't they sound delicious? And basically all we need is hot water. We're gonna pour it in our bag. That's how quick you make these meals. And then you just let it sit. Now this one says to sit how long? Uh, let it stand for eight to 10 minutes. Very easy to do guys. So if you haven't gone to their website, go check it out and uh, go pick up some of these um, some of these packages and keep them at home for emergency food. Now, he didn't ask me to make this video. I'm making the video because his food, JJ, that's a no-no, JJ. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just promoting him again because I believe this is one of the best, the best backpackers meal we've had to date. Really, really good. His food tastes like it was homemade from home. So that's what we're going to try out is different flavors that we haven't had. And that's what we're going to try today. But how fun is this, guys? You can make yourself a little stove with just a couple of loose bricks that you have lying around. If not, they're like not expensive to buy. And if you touch the bricks, they're not hot at all. So it's a real good way to make a fast little barbecue out of nothing, guys. And we're going to cook up some food and then we're going to try it out and let you know what we think of it. The first rocket stove we made. Let me see. Pick that up, Erica. Pick what up? Is this hot? Probably. Be careful. Yeah. I, oh, that's what we need. D duh. What? Okay. Uh, hold this. Now I remember. We got to lift this up. It's got to have kind of a platform. You see, we're learning, guys. Lift we're up. learning. Lift up the there, one on both sides. Perfect. There we go. So now we could put that back on so it doesn't get black on us. Perfect. Okay, we need it like something to lift it up where, yeah, smoke, out, smoke could come out. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we did. We lifted it up. Yeah, we got to feed a little more. Yeah, I was putting out the fire because I was sitting the pot right over the hole. I should have thought of that. Duh. Okay. There we go. So, I mean, for a little, I mean, the hole is really small, guys. You can't see it from here. But that little bit of twigs, look where the flames are reaching. Isn't that crazy? And that's like hardly anything in there. When I tell you there's hardly anything in there, it's got like a little window. I would say, here we go. Here's the outside. I would say there's like a little section about that wide that goes all the way up. Yeah, a little section right in the middle. And look look how high the flames are getting. Just with that little, that little entrance right down at the bottom. And like we're learning, this is the first time we ever made a rocket stove, but we're going to do a nicer one next time. And we're going to keep it always here. So it's so much easier than sitting over a big fire pit. But we're going to figure something out. Anyhow, maybe we're going to make a nice big rocket stove. What do you say? We could do that. Yeah. Some nice big ones. Yeah, I think we're gonna make a nice big rocket stove where you can even make it like on the ground and make it really tall. Yeah. And, then and this way, whole... yeah. So this way we could make, uh, we could grill our food and do whatever we have to do. Look, look how high that flame goes, guys. And this is just with a little bit of twigs and a little bit of wind. Hence the rocket stove. Look at that. It shoots up like crazy. Oh, you off. want some tomatoes? I'm eating them all. Oh, that means you're hungry. This is almost like the system. Remember in one of my, um, I'm not sure if you guys remember, one of the uh, videos I made, I was showing Erica's little stove that for when we go hiking. Uh, she has just a little, little stove. No bigger than, uh, how big is that stove? It's about six inches high. And basically it's like a rocket stove. 
and uh, you basically make meals or boil water with just twigs. And like I said, there's hardly any wood in there, guys. I wish I could show you. Like, here's my hand, and that's the hole. And look at the flames, how high the flames are. It's crazy. You got to love it. Whoever, decide, whoever came up with this idea is genius. Yeah, I think we're going to make, uh, this summer, we're going to try and make a nice big one. And, uh, and have it here all the time so we could grill standing up rather than yeah, we hutched could do over. It on the side. Otherwise, when I'm on that fire pit, I could hardly breathe out there. We can even, uh, next time I'll bring my axe, but we can... Um, Cut little pieces of wood, yeah. yeah. So it's burns for even longer and it still uses less wood. Oh, you can still cut it if you get the axe inside. We have the axe in there, but I need to get the keys. Oh, yeah, really beautiful up here. I'm glad we were able to come today. Unfortunately, we're we're going home tonight, so it's just a one-day deal. AJ's tied up because, and he's tied to a clothesline, so he's got lots of ways to go. Yeah, go on, Chief. But uh, because he wants to go where he's not supposed to go, and he wants to be out here with us. Oh my lord! Hey JJ, down. come, come to mommy. You can't. Want, you want mommy to hold you? Okay, guys. So we changed pots because it didn't have a lid, and now it works a lot better. But basically, all you want to do is open up one of these packages. Can I open it? Here we go. Take out the oxygen absorber. Yeah. Okay. Want me to get it? I see it. I want to go in with my gloves. And then we're going to put... Got it? A minimum of one cup of water. So we have just a bit more than one cup. Yeah. We can... Do you want to start with that? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with that and then we'll see. So we're just going to give it a good mix. Mmm, this smells really good. Oh, Lord. Okay. And now we're going to just close it up. And wait 10 minutes, guys. But we have the Kathmandu here. Oh, this is the Kathmandu. No, no this that's is the red lentil curry. The red lentil curry. So we're going to have No, this red one. lentil stew. Sorry. Red lentil stew. We're going to put that there. And we're going to try. How much do we need here? Uh, Two thirds of a cup. So okay, so we have to wait a bit. So I'll just open it up. This could go into the recycle bin. Now, if you were outdoors, guys, you know, put that back in your knapsack. Oh, I want to get... You want me to get it? Got it? Want to show what it looks like inside? That's what it looks like, guys. Everything's dehydrated. Here, yeah. you can move those. Freeze dry. They oh, melt. we just lost the... Uh... Okay, so we're going to wait for this. Okay, so let's put this back up there. And just let it come to a boil. Here's our spoon. And this is all charcoal. I'm not sure if you can see it, guys. Yeah, you want to show the inside? This is all charcoal. You could also use... Pine cones. Pine cones to work in a rocket. In a rocket oven yeah so you can even use that to cook with and that helped just because a little bit of flame has, uh, sap on it yeah. so it catches easily there's a flame so it really works well we thought of this last minute but uh, we have our cast iron pan there we're going to cook up some pepper some potatoes and see what we can make on here. This is what's fun about trying these things. You know what? People say, oh, you messed up. What did you do? I don't believe in messing up. I believe that everything you do is a lesson. So this way, next time we know what to do and how to do it a little better. I love playing with the outdoors, guys. So hopefully I could give you some good videos on the outdoors. Right now, my, video, my videos aren't the best. But you have an idea what we're trying to get to. This is great for backpacking because one of these, 
It's 680 calories, guys. So if you're eating yeah. this when you're hiking. 21 grams of protein. 20, yeah. Perfect really, really good. Exercising for sure. Yeah, if you're hiking. working out, hiking, uh, those are the perfect meals. And so low in sodium too. Really amazing. So I'm excited to try this one. I haven't tried that one and I didn't try the Kathmandu. How's this water? It's perfect. Yeah. It's cold actually. <laughs> yeah. The handle Crazy, is cold. Crazy, eh? Yeah. Well, these are Erica's hiking, uh, hiking stuff. Yeah. I haven't used this. This is the one you got me. Yeah. She hasn't used that one. They're not I've cheap. I've used this one before. Though. If you're going to get these titanium cups, they're not cheap. I'll show, uh, Erica, you want to go get the cup uh, that we had brought in so we can share our meal? I'm going to eat mine out of this, so I'll get yours. Yeah. I'll get my, uh, mine's the green one. Um, we bought the ones that have like that enamel. Erica's going to go in and get it. Uh, we bought the one that had the enamel around it, but it really didn't last long. So I was so disappointed because I remember my husband walked by and dropped her backpacking bag and her cup was hanging in the back. Well, it chipped her cup. I said, you know what, I'm going to replace it. And I got it the tit uh, I bought it the uh, titanium one. Um, I still use the one I have. I have another one hanging off my large uh, backpack. And this one I carry with me when I come up here because sometimes we like to sit outside and just put some hot water on the fire. And this is the one that we were using. But as you could tell, mine is chipped also. Because, yeah, this has got a beating too. You see it? So, but I love using it. And I put this on the fire. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter if it's chipped or not. But I got Erica, the nicer one. I think this one here was about 50 bucks. That's like crazy. And this year cost me, I think, $10. I didn't. You have a twig in your hair. Of course I have a twig in my hair. Okay. As you can tell, guys, see this? It's always picking up twigs. If I go into the woods, I'm always catching branches on it. So I'm excited to show you what this tastes like. Oh my god, guys. If you could only smell this. I'm not sure if you could see it. Oh my god, this smells so good. Erica? I'm going to steal a bite. Mmm. So good. Wow. Really good. Okay, guys. I want to read what's in the back. Okay. So, the ingredients are... Not sure if you can see it. Potatoes, carrots, lentils, coconut milk, onion, peas, olive oil, sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, and spices, and sea salt. All certified organic ingredients. Oh my God, it's so good. I wish, I wish you can taste it. It's delicious. I'm waiting for Erica. I think she went to hug a tree. But really, really good. Erica, you want to come and try it? Really good. Where are you? There's my daughter. Always in the woods. If you give her a choice, she'll tell you she wants to live in the woods. Yeah, there's a lot of things that have to be fixed here. All in good time, I guess, eh? Try it, Erica. Stick. Try it. Really, really good. Don't eat all of it because we're sharing that. We're not hiking. I know. Mm-hmm. So? Wow. Good, eh? Oh, my God. I could still hydrate a bit more. Okay, don't steal it all. No. Save I'm some for me. I could still be hydrated a bit more. Mm, good? Maybe we can add a bit more water. It's very Is good. Is it good? Okay, be careful. I think they're my favorite like back, uh, backpacking food company. You think? I think. Honestly, like, out of the ones that we've tried, yeah. this tastes like... And it's not that the other guy, uh, the, no, other the other back, other they're great. good too. We really like the other ones, so that just comes to tell you, it comes to tell you how much we really, really like these ones. We like the other ones a lot. I like we the uh, pad thai from Backpacker. Yes. We really love, we really love this one. That's it. You gotta make a pad thai. 
Yeah, no mad nutrition. No mad nutrition. Make a pad. Make a pad tie for us. Yeah. Uh, did you put water in this? Uh, in where? No. You okay. want to put it? Yeah. So, you so we're gonna do the cat men do. That one needs less water. And this I can't one. wait to taste that one too. Oh my god. This one you only need two thirds of a cup, so I'll just eyeball it, I guess. Yeah. A little more. Mix it. That's good. Really, really good, guys. Your food is delicious. Yes, I must. Okay. How easy. You know what? This is good to have at home. If you're busy, especially Erica. Erica works from it's home. I work from home. It's good for a pandemic. <laughs> it's good for well, a for pandemic. The, for the end of the world. God forbid something happens. <laughs> it is good for... Well, yeah, let's hope it doesn't happen. Yeah. We don't want the end of the world. But uh, it is good for a pandemic. Especially, you know, like we're working from home, right? And sometimes we get carried away. That nobody stopped to really make some lunch. So this is great. All you have to do is open up one of these pouches yeah. and uh, just put some hot water in it and then you're done. What's nice is that the ingredients are so like clean too. Clean, clean ingredients. Really, like there's nothing, nothing that's uh, not healthy. Yeah, really, yeah, really, really good. But great to have on hand. So go visit them. They're also doing this thing. I think for every meal you buy, they give a meal to... Uh, someone who can afford to buy uh, meals for like kids that go backpacking and hiking. It really, they do a lot of great stuff with their company. So, yeah, for sure. But really, really good. Their food is delicious. When I say it's delicious, it's delicious. Yeah, that's What's good. Half? I'm good. I'm good. Really, really delicious. Oh my God. If you could just the smell of it, it's so like you cooked it at home. That's a, that's what I get with this, and all organic. I love their stuff. So thank you, thank you. And he didn't ask me to make this video. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to try it out. I did say last time, and you know, unfortunately, this year is like crazy because last time we couldn't get away because there was issues. So I made the video at home, and this time we just came to the country for one day so I would have liked to have made this meal while we were on our hiking trip but that didn't quite work out but we made it do anyhow and I love promoting him because I love his food is it good yeah mm -hmm. how good is it very very good where's my spoon here's my food yum yum we're sharing I'm gonna cook some potatoes quickly in a cast iron pan. We'll see how good that's going to work on you. But here it is. Look at that. Oh my lord. I have to move my mask. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I'm done. <laughs> wow. That's really good. It is. Mm -hmm. We're not going to use oil. Should have brought it down a little, maybe. It's fine. Yeah. It's okay. Cowboy style. Hey. Hmm. We're eating cowboy style. We are. I'm going to say thank you, Nomad, for making some delicious food for us. It really is delicious, easy to make, great for backpackers, hikers. 
people that just want to keep it at home. Emergency food. I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm trying the rocket stove. And I'm just cooking a quick potato. I have uh, half a tomato I'm going to throw in here. I'm going to throw in a little piece of sausage and some red pepper. And whoever is hungry, they can have some of this. But just to check out how this rocket stove works. It works great. Especially if there's a lid of some sort. Right now I'm using this. And it seems to keep the heat in. And it cooks faster. But really easy to do. Erica, do you want to try the Kathmandu? Want to open it up for me? Yeah. Oh, that looks good. You gotta love it. And all we used was twigs, guys. Okay, so let's try this Kathmandu. Oh, that looks good too. It smells amazing. Let me just try it. Very good. I'll take some. Very good. I'll take my spoon though like so I can mix it. More. What I'm doing is I'm adding just a little bit of water, a little at a time, just to get these potatoes cooked. Sorry. I'm always off camera. My daughter says to me, you're always off camera. Focus, mother. Look at what you're aiming. And you know what? I can't see a freaking thing through this thing. Ah. Between the smoke and my eyesight, I do need a little extra water. That helps cook it. Oh, you know what? I have this water here. There we go. We're going to put a little bit of this water. And that's just going to help cook those potatoes faster. There we go. Yeah, that's just going to help bring those potatoes down. Not the prettiest cutting, but I really don't care. When we're cooking out here, eh? It works. A bigger hole would have been better. A bigger stove like this would be great over there. So we don't have to bend when we cook. Mm. Lots of flames. Yeah, I did. I did. Say hi. It's my husband. Ain't he handsome? Oh, I just got smoke in my... Okay. Oh, 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 no. Get over here. Look at that. Everything's flying. I need my lid. Sorry, guys. Put a rock. I'm going to take one of my Tiki boy. Who loves this Tiki boy? Yeah, I need a rock. Kiki, are you getting stuck? Now, this is a real hillbilly make-do. This is a real make-do system. Oh, my food. Okay, so what's in here? They look like the little noodles. I like this one So, a we have potatoes, chickpeas, rice noodles, coconut milk, onion, red peppers, spinach, carrots, mushrooms. Uh, Sun-dried tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, and sea salt. That's all that's in there, guys. Really like all one. certified organic. And that's the Kathmandu. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. That's really good. Hey, Erica. Mm. Really good. Get jealous. Look at that. This is cowboy style. Sweet potato, tomato dices, my homemade sausages that I make. That's delicious, Erica. You open them up. Mmm. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. And that's it. Just tomato, some pepper, uh, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, <laughs> tomato, potato, some sausage, black pepper, and some salt, guys. That's all you need. Then you need a cover and a rock. <laughs> Mountain Dew. <laughs> so I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Uh, here it is. Thank you, Nomad. You make some of the best food ever. And uh, I, I truly enjoy it. That's for sure.
I'm sure a lot of people are enjoying it. But thank you very much. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in my next video. And if you get a chance, go visit their website. And uh, yeah, so leave me a comment. Click on like if you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, I promise to make nicer ones once I have the right equipment to be able to do it. So I'm going to say thank you. And you know, see, this is almost done. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.